Good morning viewers! Today's episode is proof that sometimes ideas for videos just fall from the sky for me. As you've probably already noticed from the thumbnail and the title, we're going to talk about a certain incident that came to light literally yesterday. Today, as I'm recording, it's Sunday and the video I'm about to show you was published just several hours ago on Saturday. And since the video was published on TikTok and shows a pretty terrifying scene for arachnophobes, it instantly gained a lot of reach and a few of my viewers sent me this video. I watched it and thought to myself, maybe I should say something about it. Let's begin. I'll show you the footage. A large spider. It fled. It's huge. Oh my god. And that's in an apartment building. Oh, to actually see something like that, it's... This scene might look like it's from a horror movie. Let me start by identifying the spider species. I'll show you some specimens of this spider species that I keep on my desk, and then we'll talk more generally about it. And I'll share my point of view on where situations like this can ultimately lead, which isn't pleasant at all. Let's maybe start with some general points. No, this spider is not a toy, because things like that have happened before. No, this spider is not a shed skin, because things like that have also happened, and there were stories where someone accidentally, either accidentally or not, kept the shed skin of a big spider, and then it turns into a whole scandal in the neighborhood. This is a real, live, beautiful spider, just in a place that's a bit unsuitable for it. Here on my desk, I have a beautiful, elegant, slightly dirty container with the label Caribe on the color version. That label is wrong. The spider used to sit here, there's an interesting analogy related to this spider, which I'll discuss shortly. In this container, if we open it, you'll see there's a substrate and holes, and the remains of a cricket. And my friends, this container holds several spiders. Yes, several spiders. There's not just one spider living here, but several spiders that belong to exactly the same species you can see in the video. And now someone might wonder, wait, but how can several such huge spiders live in a relatively small container? Because that spider was really big? There's an explanation for that. These spiders are simply small. The one you saw in the video is big. I would even say it's an adult. So let's see what's hiding here. If we dig around here a bit, you'll see that... Something is lurking here. Some little worms. Oh! I can already see that. Um, you can already see one spider that's really trying to hide. I see another one over there. Oh, Jesus. Oh, 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 we're not going out. Hey, 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 hey! There are several spiders here. I count five in total. A few more want to emerge, but we're not going out. So, as you can see for yourselves, you can have a bit of fun with them. I'll close this so they don't start crawling around. Some may view this container of crawling spiders as a ticking biological time bomb. That's not entirely accurate. They're contained and won't escape. There's no possibility. Moreover, they spend nearly their entire lives underground. As you observed, only small holes were noticeable. These little spiders belong to exactly the same species you could see in that short, and it's a spider that in nature occurs only on one island, on one archipelago. It's the Socotra Archipelago. And here's an interesting fact, the spider is called Monocentropus porphyry. How do I even know that this is the spider? Because in our entire hobby, Oh, this is a very popular species to breed? That's the first thing. Secondly, adult spiders of this species are colored in such a way that it's almost impossible to confuse them with anything else. This also demonstrates their uniqueness. When large, their abdomens resemble kiwis, an undeniable fact. And why am I mentioning where it occurs, since you probably couldn't care less? This spider is found in Yemen's Socotra archipelago, similar to how the Caribena color label indicates a spider's origin. However, if we look it up on Wikipedia, it turns out that Yemen is actually located on two continents. Continental Yemen is located on the Arabian Peninsula, belonging to Asia, while the Socotra Archipelago is assigned to Africa, making this spider Asian African. Similarly, the Carabina color spider is found on Martinique, an overseas French territory, so despite being in South America, it is considered a European spider. But here I think if someone watches Graf or other YouTubers who know more about geography than I do, it's a good idea to ask them what they think about this. Getting back to the point, uh, we already know this is a Monocentropus balfouri spider, the Polish name. I'll find the Polish name for you. Uh, monocentric gromadny. 
That's the Polish name, which was invented by the authors of this very book. And that name is actually quite appropriate, because as it turns out, this particular species of spider is one of the best examples that some tarantulas can be kept in groups, of course, under certain conditions, meaning there's plenty of food so they don't eat each other. As I just demonstrated, there are around 10 of these spiders coexisting communally in this location. In the material I showed, there was also a mention that someone tried to catch it, which for an inexperienced person might not be a good idea. Why? Because since it lives in Asia and Africa, this spider has a strong venom. And its venom is so strong that the locals who live on Socotra have their own legends about this spider, saying that its bite can kill a camel. Which is a bit of an exaggeration. It does have strong venom, but let's not go overboard. If it bites you, your hand will swell and you'll suffer for a few days, but nothing terrible will happen. However, you must be careful with them. And here's the problem, because the spider shown here, as you noticed, isn't in a terrarium, it's not in any container, it's outside the building, outside the apartment block. And that's a really big problem because it means the owner either didn't secure the container or terrarium properly, or, which I doubt, deliberately released the spider. He wouldn't have any reason to do that, except maybe to scare the neighbors or a neighbor he doesn't like. But, regardless, this spider absolutely shouldn't be there because it doesn't naturally occur in Poland. This spider will die sooner or later, that's the truth. If it stayed there, it would eventually die. If it survived until winter, just one colder night would be enough and there wouldn't be much left of the spider. And this situation is problematic in many ways because of situations like this. The vast majority of society considers us terrarium keepers, meaning people who keep exotic animals, to be weirdos. And all such people are lumped together, like, oh, my neighbor keeps spiders, so they must be escaping, and soon I'll find one on my kitchen wall. The truth is you can't keep an eye on everyone, right? And everyone who owns spiders should have some common sense and a bit of maturity just to keep those spiders, maybe not literally under lock and key, but all of them secured in separate containers. Well, except for those Balfuri that live in groups. But spiders need to be secured, spiders need to be kept closed in, and spiders can't just be running around freely. I know escapes happen, and on my channel you've also seen various spiders escape a few times, but that's something different because those spiders were always caught. Those were controlled escapes, let's say, during feeding, uh, rehousing, or any activities involving those spiders. And if it escapes, I catch it immediately. It's that simple. And never, never has it happened that any spider or other animal has left the walls of this apartment. It hasn't happened, and I hope it never will. At least the neighbors haven't complained, so it's all good. But in this video it happened, and now what could be the consequences besides public lynching? First of all, situations like this can lead to things like white lists being introduced into our hobby, which are basically the opposite of black lists. Polish law currently has black lists that regulate species dangerous to human health and life, including spiders, scorpions, snakes, and other animals that are prohibited due to their potential danger. For example, I don't know, some Atrax species or spiders from the Loxosceles genus. We can't have them without the proper permits. And the white list works the other way around, meaning it's a list of only those we can have. And here's the problem, because that list is usually very short. Similar lists have been introduced in some countries, such as Norway, and, you know, if they suddenly introduce a white list, then to put it bluntly, we'll have to get rid of some of these animals, because in the future it won't be possible to sell them, breed them, and so on. So, I appeal to you, please take care of your pets, because these actions are not only for your own good, not only for the good of your pets. Because really, anything could have happened with that spider. A passerby, such as a fearless child, could pick up the escaped spider. If bitten, it would lead to screaming, crying, and accusations that all spider keepers are irresponsible, causing problems. Monocentropus spiders being highly venomous is a serious issue. The fact that nothing happened and the spider was caught and captured is already a big stroke of luck. I have no idea what happened to it next or if it was handed over somewhere. This, uh, there were even offers to buy that spider in the comments like, Mom, I'll transfer you 150 zlotas, please send me that spider. Um, so there are stories like that. And that's basically it. I hope this video will have some positive impact on the behavior of various people who keep spiders, because I won't hide it. I'm not a saint either. I touch these spiders with tweezers. I touch them with my finger. These are pretty inappropriate behaviors, but still, nothing has ever escaped my apartment, and let's leave it at that. I think that's the key to all of this. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.